Hello everyone, my name is Amadita and welcome back to another episode of Dress in the Sky, the third. And in this episode, we beat Silver Road, and now we are in the Golden Road, which is Kevin team. And yeah, I just get straight into the fight. I wonder if, if anybody have light attack in Kevin team, because I cannot remember at all. Ouch. I'm gonna try Ariel. And then Tita, you're going this dark mirror. To this one. Oh my, Miller is very critical. Oh! Wow, that was close. I think I'm gonna use just to uh, s craft there. I have to use it very early because Rita and Miller are gonna die if we don't. Right, that's finished. Ew, that takes care of them. Just what were they? They weren't ordinary monsters anyway. They reminded me of the prank loving tremors that appears in the folklore. Perhaps that's what they actually were. Possible. Four skeletons, ten armored knights, ten ghosts, and no gremlins. This place here is all about that folklore. Huh, <laughs> and not the pleasant kind at that. Well, let's get to the right side first, because it's a dead end. Open the chest. Terrible. This chest appreciates your concern, but it's doing okay. Alright, let's see what's here. Oh, this is new. What are you? Ghastly Jin. Oh, I don't have information. I wonder why I cannot read the description for the monster. Let's just stun him back. Try to attack normally. Hmm, not bad. Well, one down. Let's prevent that from happening. One. Only one. Oh! Wow. Miller got defeated like that. Wow. Okay. I really don't know what happened there. Does anybody have to tell us? Because I need to revive him. But if nobody does, then I'm gonna retry. Ah, oh, just one more hit, lad. Come on. Hita? Ah, not enough. Yes, God. Haha. <laughs> oh, that's save us. Finish. Nice data. Sting H. No, we aren't. That place is mine, and I can do whatever I want with it. And what I want to do is flush my hand off the thing for good. This will another healthy chunks of lamb. Then crack! When his knife. Save it, thank you. Amar something. Can I say we keep it? She said. Her stiff tone implying that any other plan he dared to present would be, to put it delicately, stupid. Think of all the history you are abandoning in 50 years. Did you know? Kelly from Gambler Jack's name was originally translated accurately as Haru, 
But it turns out the official Japanese spelling wasn't that, but Hailey. This was revealed in Game Boy Jack's sequel. This is a sequel? Tiger Heart. This will not take without permission, thank you. I read the Game Boy Jack after I beat the game, and I did not read it from the game, but from the internet because I did not collect all of the volume. Let's equip the weapon that we got for Jiswa. Thing edge, perfect. Right, let's test it out on this guy. Hmm, not bad. Alright, it's a nice upgrade for Jiswa. Another monster, of course. But compared to the Silver Road, this run is much easier, surprisingly. Door! Bring to me the man who talks with his face. Only then shall the door open. Zin. Okay, got it. That's it. Again. Mira, yes. Congratulations. It's a girl. Looking into the void inside the empty chest, you start questioning the nature of life itself. Come on, touch it. But just spare a terrible old or two for this frosty hinge. Oh, it's a craft of sexuality, though. Not really good, is it? Well, I will think about it. Well, we've reached the end. White bracelet. You open the lid. A piercing scream fills the air. You quickly shut the lid and walk away. Like nothing ha ever happened. <laughs> Alright, it's the same layout. Let's get the chest first before fighting any of these monsters. Curable. Lead cricks. 10,000 years will give you such a crack in the neck. I need to fight this monster before opening the chest. The cool pendant. It's a shining palm. Wait, that's a lie. Like the promise of more treasure. I've never encountered any shining palm in this game. Unbelievable. Another cutscene? Just like the silver rod? Yes. Iron bull. What? What's this doing here? What's wrong, Kevin? Oh no. I was just impressed at how nice this bullgun is. I'm gonna get some good juice out of this baby. The sun scoffed upon hearing Jubilee's name. His wife always had a habit of biting her lip before playing her ace in the hole, and there was no finer ace against him than their daughter's opinion. What happened to the last dialogue? The story, I mean. Gaia Griffs. But you 50 mirror that item is still in your inf inventory during the final battle? Maybe. It's possible, just like the last game. If this empty chest were filled to the brim with food, it still wouldn't be enough to satisfy race. I still have a lot of items in the last game, when I reached the final boss. Right, that's it. We've reached the end. I will clear out this area, and then I will fight the boss after that. So be right back for a few minutes. Five minutes later. Alrighty. So, just like usual, I've set everyone up behind the scene, and I forget to use Iron Bodo when I was clearing out the monster. Iron Bow. Let's see. It's that strength 500, range 6, ATS 25, and dexterity 15. Very good. I will use it. So I decided to use Kumonotachi because. We still can hit the boss. And I equip Tiger Heart. It gives a lot of strength and defense. But sacrifice art strength and art defense. So yeah, this is the downside of it. Anyway, let's just get start into it. Over there. Could it be the exit, perhaps? 
Sure looks that way. Yeah, I hope everything's going well for Risk Groups too. Is it is that Risk? Well, there you go, my hopes of just swapping. I think we are going to have to fight our way to it though. Yep, it's Riz. What? Riz? Time to fight. What is that? Damn it! A shipping man can charge or something. Ouch. Riz's craft is very dangerous, so I am going to use. Kevin as brick before the enemy is able to use her s craft. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Get up everyone. I want to use Miller s craft as soon as possible. So Haunted Mirror doesn't have any weakness. Same to Spark Mirror. Let's try Stun Impact. Get up, come on. Oh, an art. What? Oh, I see. So art is a bad idea. Well, time to just uh, a craft immediately. Final break. Nice. Oh, just so done. Freaking hell. Right, it's your turn, Tita. Okay. okay, that seems very good. It's Miller turn now. Let's see how much damage. Oh, five thousand. Nice. And down. Let's heal just so and then we use Kevin as break. Oh no, I forget as Ah uh, no. God fuck. Ah I really hate the freaking seal. We are so well. That seal ruin us. Aerial? Just uh, I think I'm gonna use another aerial. The the haunted mirror. Meanwhile Tita, he's just gonna attack Rock Mirror. Wow, that does nothing, Tita. Ha! Ow. Oh, boy. Let's just turn him back to the haunted mirror. And Kevin. You just gonna attack normally. And then I think I am going to use your S craft after this. Right, Kevin? I need your S brick. Perfect. Now just uh.
Perfect. Yes. Yes. All right. It's your turn, Miller. Yes. Down you go, Spark Mirror. Oh my god, not, not another one. Kevin, please hail just what? And Tita, hail Miller, please. Yes, God. Let's just arrow and then we use Tita as brick. No. We stole the critical. Very good, Tita. Oh ho ho. Please heal Tita just well. Never mind. She's dead. Alright, just one more art attack before the mirror done. Tell us. Right, just uh, kill those mirrors. Yes. Oh, screw off. Why? Why did you do that? Come on. Screw off, would you? <laughs> Don't do it again, Riz. Don't do it again. Okay, good, 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 good. Finish. Now only you. Finish it. Yeah. Good job, Miller. Heck yes. Oh. And it's open. Well, looks like that's the end of this trial. Sure came as a surprise to find out that Riz was just a fiend in disguise though. Y yeah, I thought she was being mind controlled or something. I've known her for a long time, and if I was fooled, it's not surprised that you guys fooled me. The mirror switches were so deadly too. I think it's safe to say that the whole battle was a trap set for us by our enemies. That being the case, I'm concerned for how the other group is faring. We should hurry on ahead. Yeah, let's get our stuff over to the dead gate. Before doing that, let's restore. Let's go! Kevin! Hey guys! Huh. 
<laughs> Looks like they are okay. Phew, yep, you are the real deal, alright. Thanks, Aldius. I was worried as hell about you, you know? I could say the same to you. Still, it looks like those really must have been Grimoires then. Cheers. Grimoires? It's not the name of the Finn we encounter. You got it. It's a type of Finn mentioned in the Testaments. Although, maybe Finn is, isn't the best word. There's said to be what those eventually turn into after being thrown into again. People sort turns into... Those? That's not a very pleasant thought. As I'm sure you know, the church teaches that the soul of sinners end up in the fiery depths of Gehenna. There, they are tormented by the ceaseless flames, slowly losing their own sense of self over time. Till finally, they are said to end up as nothing more than a chaotic lump of spirits known as Grimoire. I'm getting goosebumps just picturing it. And that's what those shape shifting creatures we encountered were, yes. The mirrors and cannons that appear with them all are cursed items that have the same origin. What did it? I don't know. But it seems our enemies have quite literally opened up, opened up the gates of Gehenna. Haha, <laughs> that's quite a fitting metaphor. It sounds like... The Lord, or the Servant. You again? Well, who could decide to show their ugly mock? It had a lot of yours sent you to come to check up on us. That is one of the rules I have been assigned. I'll bet not only one. I'm impressed by how quickly you, you have progressed, even if it was with a significant amount of the Hermit's guidance. The Hermit? What's that? The ghost we keep running into? I can't think of anyone else. She's been helping us in various ways since we arrived here. And yet we still have no idea who she is. Indeed, let's pick up for her. She is a spirit that was left behind in Phantasma, as well as the master of the Hollow Garden. <laughs> of course, thanks to my lord taking mess of our power, she can do little other than struggle as you guide. Hmm, as usual, your cryptic nonsense just goes right over my head. But hey, if she's your enemy, that makes her our ally, right? I'll leave that for you to find out. Her precision is hardly your concern at this time. I have a message for you from my lord. Your next destination is the fight of peace. Before the new offering presented to you, and display your seals once more. Then shall the flames of Gehenna burn ever fiercer, and my kingdom draw closer to its true completion. What? What is that supposed to mean? My lord says that you may choose to interpret the message however you see fit. My task was simply to relate to you. Huh. <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't have but laugh. Tell me. What set castles did you and that joke of a voice you got take to get your certification in how to make a big bet? Let's touch trying to confuse us with spamming that cryptic bullshit, too. But you thought we'd keep ourselves up all night trying to figure out that gem out. I mean, the overblown tricks make it a bit too obvious that it's fake, don't you think? Well, you are done with us. If you are, how about you get lost? We've got better things to do with our time than listen to nonsensical riddles from a guy who can even bother to show his face. Haha. <laughs> I see you're quite fond of the gift granted to you by my lord. Does it bring back memories? Gift? Kevin? Y you think you can get away? Fair not. We will encounter one another again before long. I am, after all, Phantasma's foremost guardian. <laughs> and with that, I bid you farewell. That is the first reader you mentioned. <laughs> this is a picture of his lord, right into taunting us as he leaves. The bet for him that it doesn't take a genius in work out there, but bluffing. 
The next suggestion is to fight with Beast. Before the new offering presented to you, and display yourself once more. Then shall the flames of Gehenna burn ever fiercer. Oops. I hope you guys able to read that. These words sounds as though they have some specific meaning to me. But they could be taken in a number of ways at face value. We could try unravel said meaning, but that may hinder our progress more than help in the long run. My thoughts exactly. Anyway, what's definitely not going to hinder us is going back to base and seeing who's in the two sailing stone we pick up. If we activate that monument over there, we'll be able to come back right back here to continue exploring radar too. Thank goodness it's right there, huh? I wonder who's going to be inside this. I think it's going to be Shirazard and Zin. Kevin Graham, of the 543rd class of trainees. In the name of the goddess above, I hereby appoint you a squire of Sabdian Church. I humbly accept my appointment. I place you over my soul to the goddess above, and both body and blood to her church on earth. Very good. It is exceedingly rare for one at your age to be appointed to this position. I can only assume your aptitudes and training achievement warranted it. May you strive to be worthy guardian of the goddess sacraments as a loyal and devoted servant. Well, if it isn't Kevin, I see you managed to avoid having your promotion rejected by the top brass. Splendid, splendid. Instructor, I really can't thank you enough for all you've done for me. I never dreamed I would have an actual dominion supervising my training. Hmm, <laughs> how sweet of you to say. Hard to believe you are the same boy who was up before the congregation for the sacraments shouting, Make me a knight, please! <laughs> I'll ever say that if you chuck that memory back into the further stretches of your mind, thank you. Oh, but how could I? That I miss you groveling, I never will have taken an interest in you in the first place. And not in a million years would I have thought you were related to Rufina. You could have asked her to take you on as her pupil before resigning to such a drastic measures, you silly boy. Oh, well, I had my reasons. Let's leave it at that. <laughs> Very well. It doesn't matter at this point anyway. Congratulations! You are now dog of the church just like the rest of us. It's good to have you on board. Thank you. I'm not sure that's the most re reassuring metaphor to be using on new records though. You might scare some of them right off. Please, you're not trying to position yourself as some sweet dual I thing, are you? Besides, I think it's perfectly a description for us. We go around sniffing out sacraments wherever they may be, tearing through the throats of the heretical fools who are enamored with them all the while. Can I spot the difference? Come on, instructor. I missed you at this point, so I don't really care if you call me a dog. But... But you care if I call you beloved Rufina one, don't you? Not to worry, Kevin. I can read between the lines well enough. Well, did I guess right? I... I owe her a lot. But I wouldn't call her my beloved. This sounds like a big sister to me, that's all. You're making it sound like I... Like you. What exactly? Rufina! I, I thought you were in the Mifiri on the mission. <laughs> I was. But I tried to finish as quickly as possible so I could be back for your appointment ceremony. I'm so proud of you, Kevin. It's amazing just how fast you've grown. Now you are a full-fledged adult like me. Wow, thanks for going out your way to come here. I'm not sure I would deserve to be called an adult yet though. I've got a whole lot of work ahead of me if I want to be half the night the two of you are. Oh my, how modest of you. By the way, have you let Riz know about all of this yet? Not yet, I'm planning to write to her tonight. She's been real mad at me ever since I decided to come to our though. Hopefully this will cheer her up a bit. There's not much else I can do to make up with her shot of going home. Perhaps we should do that together at some point if, if we can find the time. Oh, and while I have the chance. Thank you so much for looking after him all this time, eh? 
You've given up so much of your free time and I really do appreciate it. Think another thing of it. It proved quite a fun way to kill time. He has a fair amount of potential in combat arts and thaumaturgy too. It's a shame all his skills are on practical side of things. However, his academic side is less and stellar. Huh, I had this feeling in the pit of my stomach that may be the case. <laughs> oh right, I've gotta get going. I have to pick up my new room key and medal from the general affairs guys. Sorry, I'll talk to you later. Oh. What's this? You look so concerned. Feeling guilty because he followed you into the such a dangerous line of work. Not at all. That was completely up to him and him alone. I would never try to dictate his life choice. It's just that... I think he'll make a fine night, personally. He checks all the boxes. He's got the potential. He's got the determination. All in all, I can see why you are so proud of him. And... And kind of hunch, but... I'll be surprised if he... If a stigma manifested in him just like it has in you. Well, I'm impressed. I didn't think you could sense that of, of others if you didn't possess fun yourself. Yet one more reason to feel frustrated that you aren't a dominion. <laughs> I know we are friends, but there's no need for all the flattery. My combat and thaumaturgy abilities are average at best. I'll be cut out for this job at all. I'm grateful enough to have been promoted from Squire to Knight. That's the upper limit for someone with my lack of potential. If only you saw things the way I do. Someone with average at best abilities couldn't have handled your Arbor's case half as well as you did. Heading of a man of that reported strength to a swift enough conclusion would be a pretty fair in anyone's cap. It was just my luck that we both came to an understanding. As far as Kevin goes, you will need to rely on luck. His potential for great extents further than I will ever be able to go. But he has one weakness holding him back. That poor voice is just far too kind. So kind, in fact, that I can see him driving himself into a corner because of it one day. Chapter 4 The Dark Stigma Alright, the two stone. It looks like <gasps> Oliver Zin. But Oliver, wow, I didn't expect that. Hmm. Good. Good. Zin. Prince Oliver. Now this is a surprise. I think this is a dream at least. Indeed, it is not. I would be overjoyed to share my sweet date with Cher in my dreams. One with a fine drinking companion. Not so much. Haha, <laughs> yeah, this is real, alright. Still, doesn't Shira count as a drinking companion too? In a way, it's fun to be drunk with the joy of our company, but it's very much the opposite to be drunk with alcohol involved. That's one of the most important lessons I learned during my stay in Liberal. Heh, <laughs> true words have never been spoken. But alright, enough playing around. You guys have been filling us in on just what kind of situation we've got ourselves into. We shall make with embraces and tearful greetings afterwards. Honestly. <laughs> it really has something special. You'll think you'll be a little shaken finding yourself in somewhere as unnatural as this other nowhere. Hmm. This is quite typical. I appreciate that it's my hard to believe. But that is the situation we find ourselves in at this present time. If you are to try and find a way out, we'll need you to accept that. Oh, Miller, my sweet rose kissed muse. Ever pure and free of thorns, you misunderstand me. 
I've long accepted our current predicament as a reality. Then why do you look so deep in thought? Meet you even as? Perhaps my love's toughest decision lies ahead of me. Before me, I find Joshua, Prince Claudia, Tita, and you said. Then there's Julia and even a new face, Reese. This whom shall I get her into my arms like a warm blanket and exchange sweet nothing in celebration first? That is very Oliver. <laughs> <laughs> Only you. Uh, just so. You're feeling my leg when you said this This guy was an Edwardian prince, right? Haha. <laughs> How does it is to believe he is? Putting my deeply earnest dilemma aside for the time being, it sounds as though you've been making some headway in unraveling the mysteries behind this place. Naturally, I would be more than honored to help with that. But first, you've got a few questions you need to ask, right? I know, I know I sure do. I should have known you would be thinking along the same lines. You're exactly right. Fine by me. What do you want to ask? Do you think you've figured something out? That's what I want to find out. First, I want to ask about that ghost you have encountered in here. That's why. If I remember correctly, the first time we met her was on the balcony in the Crystal Castle, yes? Indeed it was. She gave us a key that allowed us to eventually find and rescue you. It was the first time she appeared to us as a ghost. We didn't believe it was the first time she directly communicated with you, was it, father? Don't think so, anyway. When Riz and I first arrived here, we heard a strange voice talking to us. We didn't have a clue who it belonged to at the time. But I think that was probably her, too. As do I. So at first, she existed here only as a voice, but she gradually started showing up with the body, too. It's the money with her power. I know that's a weird way to split it, but if it's true, it backs up with that man in black said last time we saw him. Yeah, he said a lot of Phantasma had stolen most of our power, right? He kept referring to her as, a, as the Hermit and Master of the Hollow Garden too. Plus the inscription on that monument behind us has the Hermit Garden written on it. I think all of us here can connect the dots just fine. Agreed. It's reasonable to conclude that this spirit garden is connected to her in some way. That's true. Makes sense to me. It also explains why this place is kinda comfy compared to the other weird pin infested place in Phantasma. Hmm, it's like we are getting closer to the truth with every new revelation. With the sense of it, she's been in Phantasma for a while now, possibly since the beginning. But then she had her power stolen by the Lord of Phantasma and ended up with her, without a body. Since then, she's been trying to help us to the best of her abilities and guide us forward. If you assume all of that to be true, maybe the monies scattered throughout are connected to her somehow, too. The same thing exists for that some purpose, guiding us forward. I think there's one more thing in our possession that connected to her as well. That cube, Kevin. You think so? Unfortunately, your guess is as good as mine on exactly what that cube is. That being said, I think the odds of it being connected to her somehow are as high as everything else on the list so far. Well, what do you think? Honestly, I'm impressed. You've done a remarkable job of making sense of the situation when you are only just arrived. Still, if you assume all that to be true, then there's something else we should be doing as we keep moving forward. Helping to restore her power, I assume. That way, we should be able to ask her what else she knows about the line we are in. Got it in one. I get the impression that if we don't, we won't stand a chance against those two. We'll find ourselves up against a wall at some point. You may well be right. Well, leaving her aside for the time being. I do have one final thing I'd like to ask. Huh? What is there to cover? It concerns that a lot of phantasma you keep mentioning, actually. Put simply, you don't happen to have any idea as to who they are, would you, Kevin? Why me? Well, from my perspective, they are awfully fixated on you. They seem to know of a three sister sister as well, and there's the fact they are even able to summon defense from the church stacks. It all seems to be pointed to you too, and you in particular. Hmm, I can see why you ask, I guess. Unfortunately, for you, though I get nothing. If anything, I would say they seem to be in an enemy of the Cross Leader as a whole rather than just me. Hmm, I suppose that's possible. I wouldn't be surprised if, if an organization like that had more than their fair share of enemies. No offense, of course. 
I have plenty of enemies myself. Try not to sound like it's something worth boasting about. Anyway, even if we connected some dots, we have to save the mystery behind who our enemies are for another day. Maybe we can get more inf information out of them the next time we see them. But until then, we don't have enough to work with. Right, next time one of them show up, we have to see what we can force out of them. So, that about wrap things up for now. If so, we should probably get ready to head out again. We are on plane number 4, and if the previous planes are anything to go by, it's gonna be tough. Kevin. Hmm? What's up? Did you have something else you wanted to add? No. It's just that I'm not feeling very well. So I'm going to set the next plane out. What? I'm sorry for the trouble, everyone. But please look out for him on my behalf. It shouldn't cause you too much trouble. But as I'm sure you know, he can be a little careless at times. Riz? What a sec! I really not gonna go after her. I... Um... Sorry. I'll be back in a minute. It's still going. Reese! Wait a sec. What's with you all of a sudden? Oh, I know. Are you feeling left out because I'm the only one you know here and everyone else I'll get over this too fast? Sorry, Riz. I should have said earlier, really. When are you going to stop acting? Huh? It should really have felt a little left out for a while. You have clearly gotten through so much together, and it's made you that much of fun of each other in the in the daytime. <laughs> yeah, we had some amazing times. Hard to come out to the other end of the stuff we did without growing closer through it all. Watching you all, how could I not have felt lonely? How could I not have felt jealous? You've been avoiding me for the past 5 years, Kevin. The thought that you've grown close to so many others while going out of your way to keep me out of arm's reach did make me sad. Y you know, I didn't mean it like that, Riz. But at the same time, I was still happy you did. I knew how badly what happened to Rufina had hurt you, how you were still blaming yourself for it. I knew how you were driving yourself into a corner over it, and how you were taking on nothing but other job as if you were trying to punish yourself. And I couldn't complain it for myself for sure, but I just knew the truth that you were desperate to burn yourself out through them were true. So, so that's the reason. That's why. As lonely as I felt when you were off making new friends without me, it was really... Really happy more than anything. Um, uh, Riz, you do know that. Except it turns out you haven't met any new friends at all. You are pulling the same exact thing you pulled with me on them. Every single one at arm's length. They can't get close to you. You won't get close to them. On the surface, you are a cheerful person having fun with everyone. But on the inside, you are as cold as can be. All you're doing is manipulating your own emotion so people think you are someone you are not. After watching you ever since we were reunited, that's become plain as day to me. <laughs> Man, I'm happy you're worried about me. But you've totally got the wrong idea with this one. Sorry, I'm good at a lot of things. But pretending to be someone I'm not isn't one of them. When I'm happy, you'll know about it. And when I'm mad, well, I think you know I'm not so good at hiding that either. I'm the same transparent guy I always was. Oh, I didn't say you weren't easy to read, for me at least. After all, I know how generally checking you were with a lot of fantasy message. Their words, and the words of the Schwarzrinta, always come across as cryptic, but not to you. Deep down, you know what they are talking about. You just constantly keep it from the rest of us and trying to keep us in the dark. No. Maybe you've even managed to pull the wool over your own eyes too. Uh, come on now, you can seriously. We've heard the new offering presented to you and display your seal once more. You know exactly what that means, don't you? Go on. You know what? Maybe you should set things out for a bit. You are clearly really tired. What? I get that you are as angry as you are upset with me, but I think starting to make you jump to some really out there conclusion. 
and being tired out's only going to make it worse. You can just see how negative your line of thinking is. You can seriously believe all this is actually true. I'm not saying I don't deserve it all the anger. I totally do. I generally was busy, but at the same time, I wasn't sure how to face you if we did end up meeting either. Still, we're gonna be working together from now on, so... Enough. Huh? Oh! Everything you're saying is just meaningless. Maybe the others don't realize that. But how dare you think I, of all people, would fall for it? I realize I'm turning my back on my duties as Squire by doing this, but I can't hear to be near you any longer. I can't stand to see the cabin I thought I knew, so empty. So. Kevin? Oh, hey. Haha, <laughs> I'm sorry you had to say that. Don't worry about it. I wanna know something, Jitsua. So. You've looked into me a fair bit since I first stepped into the scene, right? I have. I know that you are called the Heretic Hunter. I know that you are one of the 12 dominions that led to the Grass Reader. And I know you undertake the execution of, of sinners to just deems most unforgivable almost single-handedly. Huh. I figured you know your stuff. One well, and the guess was because you hadn't truthfully better being close to girlfriend for so long, huh? I can't deny it. Still, the only people, the only people you harm are the sinners. Never anyone else. So I decided that, for the time being at least, you weren't a threat to her or anyone else. Haha, <laughs> I see. Last one was your work, too, wasn't it? She sure was. My job was to get rid of him, that's it. Everything I did with you guys leading up to that point was to get myself into the position to get it done without him catching on. That includes helping all of you out, naturally. Yeah, I know. You must have been aware of the possibility that SL would be taken on board the glories though. You thought allowing it to happen would help you in the long run, so you keep quiet about it. Wow, now that one I'm surprised you've pissed together. <laughs> but yep, you're absolutely right. I figured there was a chance she might be abducted, but I did exactly nothing to stop it. I like us was finding out what, what Westman and you were up to, and where you are, for that matter. Who is better paid for that than her? I thought so. And not all of that doesn't change how I'm more grateful than words can express. Why is that? Because if you hadn't helped me back then, I would still be Westman puppet. I've broken with my own hands what I value most in the whole world. That's what I'll never be able to fully repay. Oh, sweet alias. Now you're just being cute. I know you are smart enough to realize it's not at all why I threw you a bone, right? I just wanted him off his guard enough to create the opening I needed. Having was the perfect way to do that. That was all there was to it. And again, that doesn't change how grateful I am to you. Knowing you did what you did didn't erase the gratitude I feel, not in the slightest. Haha. <laughs> It really just as well you ended up quitting Arboros. You were such a high heaven if you were an Empress or not. <laughs> Honestly, you are totally right. If Rissa is sitting on the sidelines for now, let me help you in her place. I might not be as capable of helping you as she is, but I should be able to pick you up. You don't need to feel indebted to me, you know? Well, I'll take what I can get. No doubt you are very sick about SL too, so there's your gold star reason for helping out beside me. So thanks, and we'll you've got my bag. Right back at you. Well, I guess that's it everyone for this episode. My name is Odita and I will end it here, and I hope you guys enjoy the session. This is quite a long recording session that I did compared to the previous one. But anyway, that's all I want to say. I will end it here, and see you guys later in the next video. Have a nice day. Peace out. Goodbye.